Dataforge Notebook is a cross-platform, notebook-style application for exploratory coding and visualization in JavaScript and TypeScript. It is available for Windows, Mac OS and Linux, and you can download the latest release from the releases page on GitHub. Have you heard of Jupyter Notebook? Dataforge Notebook is just like Jupyter Notebook, but for JavaScript and TypeScript. It's like a REPL on steroids. Dataforge Notebook comes with everything you need and makes it easy just to start coding. Just download it and install it and get into your work. You don't have to download anything else and you don't have to configure anything. Because Dataforge Notebook is a desktop application, you will keep all your code and data on your own computer. And unlike other products like this, you don't have to upload your private stuff to someone else's hosted server in the cloud. With Dataforge Notebook, you are in control of your own code and data. Anything you can do in Node.js just works in Dataforge Notebook. And you can use any NPM module and it will be automatically installed for you. You can also import your own JavaScript code modules to reuse whatever code you have already written. And because your code is compiled by Babel, that means you can use all the latest JavaScript and TypeScript features. After starting Dataforge Notebook, you'll see the welcome screen. From the welcome screen, you can find recent files, help, and example notebooks. A good place to start is the intro notebook. The intro notebook is a simple example notebook. Each notebook is composed of cells. And you can see here we have a markdown cell with some documentation. And then immediately below it, we have a code cell. We can click in the markdown cell to edit it. And then we can hit escape or select another cell to return to preview mode. In the code cell, we can write any valid JavaScript or TypeScript code. You can grab the handle on the left of a cell to drag and rearrange it in the notebook. Below the code cell, we can see the output from running the code. This is the output from the last time I ran this notebook. Let's make a small modification to this code and evaluate it again. You can see that the output has changed. Here we have just done a simple console log, but you can put any JavaScript or TypeScript code that you want here. The only thing that's different about coding in Dataforge Notebook is the display function. It is the visualization workhorse of Dataforge Notebook. We can use the display function to visualize any JavaScript value. We can use it to visualize JavaScript arrays. We can use it to visualize JavaScript objects. You can use any NPM module in Dataforge Notebook and you don't have to manually install it. Dataforge Notebook is going to manage installing NPM modules for you. I'm going to make a REST API request and we'll look at the product data that comes back from it. Let's try using the Apex plugin to plot the rating. When you're finished experimenting with the intro notebook, click the link at the bottom to move on to the next one. The next notebook is an overview of some of the simpler visualization techniques using the display function. We've just seen examples of all these. From here you can move on, you can look at um, how to plot a variety of charts, maps, uh, working with CSV data and JSON data, working with REST APIs, or move on to the visualization notebook. And this shows you snippets of all the different types of visualization that you can do with Dataforge Notebook, including charts and uh, also including maps. There's so much more that you can do with Dataforge Notebook. Please have fun exploring it. And uh, don't be afraid to reach out to me for help or feedback.